Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the WordPress. Now briefly, I'll be touching what is WordPress, but my major point of concern is when is actually the right time to get started with the WordPress. Now I see a lot of beginners directly getting started with the WordPress. So is it good or when is actually the right time to get started with the WordPress? All of this coming up in this video. In this channel, we discuss about coding, programming, technology, and everything related to the computers. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now, in case you don't know what is WordPress, WordPress simply is a ready-made cooked up system which you can directly deploy on your domain and voila, you are ready with the website. It's moreover a content management system which gives you a beautiful backend system which you can uh, just upload the things like how you manage your Facebook or Twitter. You can just, you see exactly almost the same admin panel there. You can change your titles, your headings, your images, your sliders. There are dozens of themes. And basically it's very lucrative for the beginners to directly get started with the WordPress. Now this is completely a wrong thing. Now I'm not talking about the people who directly just want to get started a, a general website for their business and they won't be looking at it. If you are that guy then it's okay to get started with the WordPress but if you are technical and you are directly jumping into the WordPress that is going to be a bad move. Now let me tell you why it is going to be a bad move. Now since uh, you are directly getting started with the WordPress, you are unfamiliar or you are not that much confident with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, PHP and all of these technologies. Now WordPress, try to understand this, is a tool to fasten your productivity, not to totally rely on that, otherwise you will be killing your creativity. Now once you have the basic understanding and knowledge about HTML and CSS and JavaScript, try, try to create a couple of projects in that. Now, once you have handled almost about five to 10 clients and that are purely into HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I'm not saying try to handle the clients which needs the entire WooCommerce or, or entirely e-commerce website, just the clients who needs a simple five page websites or just try to create your own fictitious projects uh, to make sure you clean up your hand in HTML, CSS. Now, once a person actually is good in HTML, CSS and JavaScript and he's able to manipulate things on his own, then the WordPress is actually almost good to move on. Now, why almost? Because WordPress actually manages a lot of things and it is heavily dependent on the PHP. Now, if you can create a web page, five page website with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and can also create a simple login form, which actually allows you to visit, uh, let's just say three or four more pages, then actually it's the perfect time to move into the WordPress. Now I use WordPress quite a lot because for me, I'm already familiar with these technologies. In fact, I'm quite a lot familiar with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Angular, and all those technologies. I work with them almost every week. And, but for most of my clients, I still use WordPress. Why? Because it saves me a lot of time. Now, many times the client actually requires to, uh, and to give me or to produce an entire e-commerce web store, which uh, takes a lot of time if we, if we develop that kind of store in simple Angular or maybe Node.js or other backend system. Now, WordPress gives me a lot of plug and play things which I can configure. And of course, I can do a lot of editings and creativities and all those things since I know HTML and CSS. That is why I'm able to manipulate them. But for a beginner who is trying to directly jumping into the WordPress and thinking, hey, now it's going to be a comfortable life, uh, it's actually a bad move. So my tip for all the beginners who are very uh, lucrative about the WordPress, don't get started yet. You will eventually get started, maybe in the later point of time, or maybe you'll find some other CMS much more powerful and much more easy to get started. But if you are a beginner, don't touch the WordPress. That would be your creativity killer. Don't kill your creativity. Now, after once you moved into the project area, then it's okay to get move on. So this was a quick overview about my thoughts that is WordPress good for beginners or not. Uh, link down in the comment section below that what do you think about it? Are your thoughts exactly like mine or if you have some different thoughts? Let's discuss them in the comment section below and maybe I can create more videos on the same topic. And if you think that this video was okay, then uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new here. 
And if you think that somebody can enjoy this video much more, make sure you share it.